Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And I've got to say, I forgot how wonderful it was to fly around with my jetpack and to touch down with my boots of the traveler. I am back on the Working Draft server. Unfortunately, I've been super busy with the baby and haven't had a lot of time to hang out here. And ooh, what is this? Looks like people have been busy while I was gone. This is smart. He used the glass and stone that cannot be broken by other people to keep people from tampering with whatever it is. Huh. Well, I'll have to ask Doc or... It, it, I think it's one of them energy transfer devices. Don't know exactly how it works. Here's my steam thing. Apparently that's still there. What I'm looking for, though, is Mango's portal room. He said that one of these portals will take me to the end. Old portal room, Wolves home, Mango's base, Brendan's place, the bar, Enchanted, the end. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go to the end and get a whole bunch of end stone because end stone is awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a wand of equal trade, which is this purple one here. Set it to uh, swap the cobblestone in my inventory for endstone. So here we go. Okay, good. To start off, I did not start in a room full of endermen, so that's always nice. Now I figure what I'm going to want to do in order to avoid making a mess for everybody else is I'm going to want to go underneath the end with my jetpack, which is about half full. So let's try to avoid looking at anybody. Get way up high. Look back down. Okay. So the Endermen seem pretty spread out over there. Should not look at them. And so we will just kind of come down here, still keeping an eye on our fuel. Oh, how close to the ground am I? I don't want to, like, accidentally, uh, you know, go off the edge and die, like, while I'm flying with my jetpack. But okay. So that just grabbed me two stacks of endstone. Awesome. And baby Corinne just woke up, and I am her sole caregiver right now. So time skip. Now that baby Corinne is all taken care of and safely back in the arms of her mother, I'm going to go ahead and try and fix this waterfall here to make it uh, not occupy that entire meadow. Simply because, if you look at this, this would be a much better place to put all our cows than this tiny little pen that we got them in right now. We have this fancy breeding machine, but it's not working to optimal um, capacity on account of insufficient like uh, space. Once the cows reach a certain density within inside the pen, the uh, machine stops feeding them and they stop getting new cows. So, the water here should be slowly cleaning itself up now. And if we kind of look at the dirt area, we can kind of tell where that, uh, where that. So I'm thinking if we, what we want to do is just have it run down and into the creek here. So if I just go ahead, is this, this is a crazy magic shovel, but that's okay. Because then I can do stuff like this and have it just kind of work. Okay, so now our creek uh, kind of will uh, flow into here. Now let's go ahead. Uh, did not want to use the end stone for that. Let's go ahead and mine that. Um, what we're going to want to do now is use our bucket to add water here and here and, whoa, here and kind of uh, even out the bottom of this creek. Let's add some dirt as well. Now, I think technically I can use the uh, shovel to fill in areas too, but... So what this will do... How does that work? Is it right-click? Boom! Okay, that just fills that right in. Okay, so now if I start adding water like here, for example, boom. Now we have the lake kind of comes in like that. And if I fly back up here... Um, well, actually, let's go ahead. Whoa. 
Let's re-enable hover mode. I have not flown around in this game for a little bit too long, it seems. Um, we gonna, we're gonna kind of want to make sure that the, the creek is contained within here as much as possible. So, okay, there's our stone. And I will get a few tries at this. This is not something where it has to be done perfectly the first time, but it would obviously be better to have it done right, you know, when you have the choice of having it done right or wrong. Okay, so this is not... There's no snow here. Or there's there's snow here, but not over here. So that means that the creek's path is not going to cross where the snow was. Now, um... Let's see, and that's where the water was. So let's fly back up there real quick. Disable in our hover mode. And put the spring source back in. And give this a little look. So, let's see. Part of this is working perfectly. And, uh... So I might even go so far as to do that. There we go. Now, this right here is suboptimal. Probably need to block that off higher up. Where's that actually coming down and out? Looks like somewhere over here. So we're going to take this additional stone and block off the upper part first. And, wow, these boots of the Traveler and Jetpack are not reliable. Uh, or, I mean, they are reliable. I'm not having a problem with them. I'm just not used to using them after playing vanilla and not playing for so long. Okay. So... That kind of provides us with a natural channel here that we can then go ahead and do that. So now, what I think I'll do is I'll use the shovel to raise the terrain around here slightly for our cow pen. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't work around flowers and stuff. See, all of these tools are so neat. Um, does it work around grass, though? It does. Bizarre. But yeah, so this is a shovel of the earth mover, which you can see in one of my earlier um, Thomcraft videos. Oh, and I'm all out of dirt now. But either way, you get the idea. So we've got this kind of bank here a little higher. Now I need to create the actual cow pen which maybe I'll dig out some of this here in order to do that. Um, let's see. That stone wall there looks particularly manufactured, though. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of make sure that that kind of comes out here in an interesting and plausible fashion. Oh, uh, so this is the back of the portal room. So, rather than go into Mango's plot, let's go ahead and just cover that up like so. Whoops. And get this as well. Presumably this is another portal right here. Whoops, we are just knocking over torches, aren't we? Um, get a new torch out. And uh, put that there for right now. I don't know how precision a room this is, lighting-wise. Not particularly. Um... So yeah, we will go ahead and resume our stone placement here. And let's quickly run to bed so that we may begin our cow pit lacing with a brand new day of adventurous excitement. Time sleep! So now that a new day has begun, we can use our shovel of the earth mover here to continue placing a increased elevation level right here. And what's this down here? Does that connect to the sewers? Oh, okay, yeah, so here's the sewers, which are still a work in progress, but are coming a long way better than they were. We can leave that for right now. But anyway, um, we can go ahead and use a shovel of the earth mover to keep placing stuff. Why is it sometimes the... Whoa. So I can't click on the grass directly. If I click on the flower directly... Whoa, it plants more flowers. Or something. Dang it. Okay. That was weird. Maybe it used bone meal from my inventory. Okay. So I can't get rid of... Point of, uh, point of fact, you cannot use this shovel to easily remove grass unless you want to easily remove other stuff too. 
So we are just going to build the whole thing up significantly here and move that torch there. And having built the thing up significantly, we will then actually kind of dig out a pen for our cattle. Um, now, there are different ways that you can house cattle in Minecraft, and one of the easiest ones is to just actually dig a pit. How come that time the grass broke? Maybe because the shovel wasn't operating at full efficiency or something? Now, I think if I use shift, it works as a normal shovel. So, and then we can come down here and break a few of those. Whoops. And we can place one block of dirt right there. And we could even, you know, open this up a little bit more if we wanted to. Like, kind of, whoops, fill that in right there. Okay, just remove one block there. And one block there. And, so yeah, now that's looking a little bit more natural than it was anyway. And we can remove one block there, one block there. And we can always add some bends or turns to this, but I mean, it's, um, we've still got the same look and feel. But now we can take this area here and just keep adding some excess dirt here. And so what I probably should have done is just done an outline of excess dirt. But I, of course, did not think that that would be smart enough, and so I came through. Let's go ahead and cut down all of this uh, wood. Oh, these tree cutters. This is such a weird axe, because it'll cut down the wood at the top first. And then float it all to me. It's really weird. Okay. Um, so what I was kind of thinking is I would make the entire elevation of this higher, and then break it down um, so there's a pit inside of it, and then add... Uh, add fences around it or something. And I'm, I'm starting to think now that that might have been a really silly idea. Why would I add all this dirt and then not take advantage of it? Um, that's a very good question. Okay, so that's starting to come along a little bit better, and it seems kind of like a natural offshoot of the mountain. I might want to extend more of the mountain kind of outward, but for right now, I mean... It's good enough. And what I... Oh, actually, the better way to do it might be to make it look like it's carved more into the mountain by adding kind of a, a, a steeper wall here. So essentially, the entire backstop of the mountain makes the back wall of the animal pen. Does that look... Yeah, so what that'll do is that'll make it look more plausible that this is a, uh, a an extension of the mountain. So we will put this here, and uh, let's see, let's run this over in one, and actually let's run that in two, because I like having the uh, ladder, or not ladder, the, the fence in a little bit from the actual outside part here. So, whoops, and of course that is the worst place to place that. Not really the worst, but it's just an unhelpful place. Okay, so this is already a way better cow animal pen than we had. And so then we will run this back through along here. And we'll connect that with this wall. So now our cows will be able to safely enjoy this little penned-in area. And we can add some torches along here. I mean, really, I should probably add torches kind of all throughout this. Uh, like every you. We're not going to count these out, because that's, you know, that's not what we're here to do. We are here to build fences and throw down torches with reckless abandon. If our abandon is anything less than reckless, then this is just not the cow pen for me. Okay. Cool. Now, arguably at this point, I'm going to want to light up some of um, the surrounding mountain. So, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Now, anim uh, monsters and stuff can still come down the mountain here, which is less desirable. So, hmm, do I really want to come through and add lights to all of this, though? Because, like, I kind of like how the um, spawn, uh, you know, our city hall is lit up at the top, and the mountain itself is kind of darker. 
Well, let's go ahead and take a quick nap and resume our construction in a moment. So the last thing I need to build for this to work, is, or well, not the last thing, but one of the things I need to build for this to work is a teleportation location. So what I'll do is I'll affix one portal to the underside of here, and then one portal to the current cow pen. So thanks to Valve owning all the sounds from Portal, I have to disable my sound here to avoid losing my copyright of YouTube stuff. So we're just going to fly this over here and put one portal on that side. And we will fly back over here. Put one, Whoa! And the cattle should start just falling through. And I can nudge them a little bit. Where are you at, cattle? Wow! Ah, oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. That's the way to do this. To, to just go through the portal myself. I'm quite the fool sometimes. Yeah, into the portal. Into the portal, cattle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I guess technically I can move the blue end of the portal to be beneath them wherever they are. Okay, wonderful. Now, these hoppers I don't think need a special wrench. Now, what's the button to reset these portals? There we go. You don't want to have your portals active for too long because that can cause problems with the uh, RAM on your server. Okay, so there we are back in on our audio. And, okay, so here are our cattle. They're all hanging out, and we'll get rid of this thing because it's an eyesore and no one likes it. They should not be able to escape. I think this is the perfect prison for them. Although they can glitch through one block wide fences, which was one of the reasons people put them in pits, but whatever, we tried. Um, so now what we're gonna do is grab plenty of different types of wrench until we figure out which one we need to move the uh, automatic wheat feeder thing. Because I'm not sure which wrench I need to use to pick this thing up without breaking it, I've brought several. Well, okay, so... Okay, maybe I just use a pick. Yay, that was easier than I was hoping. Wonderful. So now we just take our feed station and our hoppers, which will dispense bounteous crops into the waiting jaws and will and maws of these young cattle. So, see, normally you can only put 25 feed in there, and it'll start automatically picking cattle to assign the uh, breed and readiness to. So let's go ahead and just add some hoppers here so we can have that kind of going around the clock. And hopefully this is a wide enough area that that'll keep going for a while. We can grab additional, uh, what do you call this? There's a word for this stuff. It comes out of seeds, crops, wheat. We can grab additional wheat from our local seed library, which is, you know, where, of course, they keep all the seeds. Okay, so now armed with additional wheat, I can go ahead and dump more of this into my feed station and hoppers here. And hopefully these cattle will continue reproducing. I don't think this thing needs redstone power or anything. Okay, yeah, they're starting to get the little hearts. Oh man, Cleo's blimp is definitely coming along too. But Anyway, I should probably call it a night. So until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep moving your cattle. Well, I guess it's not cattle rustling if you own them. You know, keep cattle distributing, moving, adventuring. Keep adventuring. Oh, they're so full of love.